This summer we embarked on a long road trip out west and one of our goals was to be self-sufficient, living out of our minivan, car camping or backpacking the whole time. So I'm going to show you how we packed the van this summer. I will start off by saying our other two road trips we took out most of the middle row. So we had one kid on the middle row and two on the very back row and just had our typical trunk space in the van. This time we took out most of the back row. Uh, Daryl found a YouTube video and five bolts later we had removed two-thirds of the back seat which gave us a huge amount of space. So looking at the back of the van we have two kids on the middle row lots of stuff in there all their stuff pretty much and then one child in the very back and he has his own compartment and stuff back there so we have this whole space the cooler lived here and then we had two uh, water containers two and a half gallons that can slide in and out behind Baxter's seat and then we had four of these gray bins one goes there three here and a red and black bin to distinguish between the gray bins we put stickers on them I'll show you what was in each of those bins this one the sticker is feathered friends so this is our feathered friends wet bin and we got these three bins that we could use for washing clothes, washing dishes. This was stuff that we didn't use that often, so it was the one that was buried the most. This is a bag of flip-flops for when we took showers. We had two solar showers, laundry detergent. Um, we had our raincoats in here for a while. This is anything that could just be wet. So the Feathered Friends wet bin. Goes there on the bottom because we actually don't get to it that much. We call this the Chaco Camping Bin. Um, again, it's evolved a little bit over time. A lot of times it has fuel, anything that's just for camping. Right now we have a lot of friction fire materials. Um, but fuel, rope, broom, mm, a lot of rope goes in there. This was one of the extra bins. These two bins I feel like we got to bring this time because of being able to take out the seat. We had all this extra space. So this was really nice. This we call the downhill at dawn or the miscellaneous bin. And there are, we brought a lot of books and games um a car uh like toolkit ziploc bags lots of bags paper these are all games and books so we could rotate books out that we kept near our seats that way we were able to bring more books than we normally can bring this was all dehydrated food so this was nice now we've eaten a lot of it but we dehydrated food for about three weeks straight, and this whole bin was full of dehydrated food. And this is about all we have left. We have a few things in there. And as we ate that dehydrated food, then I've just filled it up with kind of dinner type stuff. We brought a lot of vitamins, vitamin C, um, and these are like dinner type foods. Also now our backpacking stoves we have two backpacking stoves and fuel ended up in here. I think they started in the camping bin, but now they're in here. So that kind of serves the, the bottom base. And then the rest is food and other bags. This is a food bin. This is all outerwear. So everyone's raincoats, puffy jackets or fleeces, hats, gloves are in there. This is a blanket that we bought. We call this the odor bag. Anything that smells, dish soap, hand soap, bug spray, um, bathroom stuff, all that's in here. We started off with like a bag of spray sunscreen and stick sunscreen 
in every door, probably in three doors, but then quickly realized we have to pull that out every time we camp in bear country. So we ended up just consolidating it all into one bag. So we just call that the odor bag. Anything that smells <laughs> stays in there. Then we have a towel bag. This is our stand-up privacy tent for when we take solar showers. That's our bear vault container. Um, right now it's just holding a bunch of stuff sacks. That's evolved also with things that's held over, over the weeks. We also have a folding table that we love. And then all of our clothes, everyone has a drawer. So our clothes are in drawers. There we have some more bags of food, our stove, and then our kitchen drawers, which right now I, be sh I have been sure to keep out any odor, um, like the dish soap and stuff isn't in here. So we can leave this out at night, but these are all our bowls, spoons, cooking stuff is all in the three drawer kitchen container. That way, all the food and the cooler, Jasper can reach that while we're traveling. That's just all right there. So if we're driving down the road, he can reach something. Our kitchen goes right there. Uh, the table slides right there. Those two drawers of clothes go right there. And then the other bags just pile on top. Something like that. And then all our camping gear is on top. Here is our box top where we have all our camping gear. We have two tents. We're doing backpack. We've been backpacking. So we have five backpacks, um, five sleeping bags, sleeping pads, pillows, trekking poles, hammocks, the big blue tarp that we have set up right now is a rain shelter that folds and fits up here. Um, it's pretty full with camping gear. This is new. We did get this. I think Daryl said it's called a Jerry can. Um, and it can hold five gallons of gas. That was just something else that I felt good or felt better that uh, we should bring that. We have used it for water. We haven't ever used it for gas. So we have used that for water. Um, yeah, just all our camping stuff goes up here on top. 